Students, this is a standard result. We are expected to find the volume of a spherical cap of height h cut off from a sphere of radius r. Now, to obtain this spherical cap, we would have to use x is equal to r and x is equal to r negative h as the two lines. Now, the equation that we would be using is x squared positive y squared is equal to r squared. And the required formula is going to be pi times integral between the limits x is equal to a to x is equal to b y squared times dx. Now, using this formula, we can rewrite it to obtain the spherical cap's volume as follows, which is going to be pi times integral x is equal to, you start from r negative h, because that's the smallest line, to r x is equal to r, which is the largest line, times y squared. From here, I can rewrite y squared to be as r squared negative x squared. You need to substitute that quantity there. And then you will should obtain the values by applying integration. So this can be obtained or simplified as follows. Pi times integration limits are from r negative h to r. And the first quantity is r squared times dx followed by the second quantity which is pi times r negative h to r x squared times dx. Upon integrating, we would get pi times r squared is a constant. You can take it out. This will give you x. The limits are r negative h to r followed by pi times x to the power 3 divided by 3. The limits are r negative h to r. Substitute the upper limit. That would give you r followed by the lower limit, which is r negative h. And in this case, 3 is a constant. I can take it as pi over 3. Substitute the upper limit that will give me r cubed followed by the lower limit which is r negative h raised to the power 3. Now our duty is to simplify these quantities. So this is going to be r squared multiplied with r would give me r cubed times pi negative times r squared times pi times r negative h followed by pi over 3 times r cubed negative times negative is positive pi times r negative h raised to the power 3 divided by 3. Now we would have to expand this and simplify so I'm rewriting it as r cubed. Now you got an r cubed pi here and uh, pi r cubed over 3 there so let me club those quantities so pi r cubed divided by 3 that's one quantity and you got r squared pi times r that's going to be r cubed pi and then negative r squared pi times h with a negative sign that's going to be positive r squared pi times h followed by positive pi over 3. Now, so I will have to simplify this. Now, to simplify this, I would be using a minus b all cubed formula, which is a cubed negative 3a squared b positive 3ab squared negative b cubed. So, r negative h, the old cubed is going to be r cubed negative 3 times r squared h positive 3r h squared negative h cubed. So remember the formula, it's very important. So now what I can do is I can simply cancel these two terms, r cubed pi and negative r cubed pi can be cancelled. So I am left with negative pi r cubed over 3 and positive r squared pi h positive pi over 3 times. Now r negative h is the old cube, I can write it as r cubed negative 3r squared h positive 3r h squared and negative h cubed. So I can rewrite the above expression as pi r cubed over 3 negative sign positive r squared pi times h. I can remove the parenthesis and multiply pi over 3 to all the terms. So that's going to be positive pi r cubed over 3 negative 3r squared h pi over 3 positive 3 times r h squared pi over 3 negative pi h cubed divided by 3. So can I cancel any terms? So let me see that. Now a 3 and a 3 can be cancelled. A 3 and a 3 can be cancelled here. Yeah? So negative pi r cubed over 3 
can be cancelled with positive pi r cubed over 3. Now, if you see here, this is r squared pi h and this is negative r squared h pi. So, they can be cancelled. So, now I am left with r h squared pi negative pi h cubed over 3. So, what I'm going to do, I'm going to be taking pi out, h squared out and a 3 out. That would give me 3 times r and over here I need to have a h cube there. So, just place a h. So, this is the required volume. So, in fact, you can rewrite it in the following manner. So, therefore, the required volume is pi h squared divided by 3 times 3 times r negative h cubic units. Okay. Now, the question doesn't stop there. Okay. Now, what they are saying is that if rho is the radius, now, if rho is the radius, now, how do you pronounce this? This is r h o. If rho is the radius of the cap, okay, and then we are given something like this, rho squared positive r negative h, the whole squared is equal to r squared. Then we have to obtain r. Now, this can be done. You just expand this. This is going to be r squared positive, r squared negative 2 times r h positive h squared is equal to r squared. Now, clearly these two r squared can be cancelled, giving you rho squared positive h squared is equal to 2 times r h. So, therefore, r is going to be rho squared positive h squared divided by 2 times h. So, this is the value of r that you have to substitute. Now, if you were to take this value and substitute it in in here, then you will have a different expression. So, let us see what expression we can get when we substitute it here. So, I want to use this space. So, I take this value and I place it here. So, therefore, I now have pi times h squared times divided by 3 of 3 times rho squared positive h squared divided by 2 times h negative h. So, we need to simplify this. Now, this is equal to now, if I were to take the LCM, so that's going to be 2 times H. So, this is 3 times rho squared positive 3 times H squared negative 2 times H squared times pi H squared divided by 3. I can rewrite this as pi H squared divided by 3 times. Now, 3h squared and 2h squared can be clubbed. So, that would give me 3 times rho squared positive h squared divided by 2 times h. So, this is what I've got. Now, what I can do is I can multiply 2h with 3 and cancel. In fact, I can cancel this h out. So, that would give me pi h divided by 6 times 3 rho squared positive h squared. So, this is my v, okay, when the radius of the cap is given.